Hi, in this video we will see how to install Selenium and we will use Mac environment that means Mac computer and Visual Studio code all together and we will use on virtual environment but if you are using other software like PyCharm or some other environment like Windows computer please check my other video tutorial I will mention those things detail over there but this video is dedicated with Mac computer and Visual Studio code plus on virtual environment we will use pip environment and here we will see how we can install selenium so this is the topic of this video so let's get started now before installation of selenium let me create a folder we can create a folder anywhere but for my case i am using on folder location like in my computer i have on folder uh, this is called few steps and here i am going to create on folder the folder name i am trying to type like selenium python as this is a python with selenium i just typed over there okay and in this video i told you already this is a mac version and we will use visual studio code and here we will actually install selenium so for the first thing before installing selenium we have to open visual studio code and we have to map this folder so i am going to open visual studio code by holding command key and s paper all together and it will give us a spotlight search over there we have to type visual studio code so here is the visual studio code just double click it to open visual studio code this is the visual studio code which we just, we just opened so if you don't know how to install uh, visual studio code please check my other video tutorial over there you will find a tutorial how to install visual studio code on mac so i'm going to uh, use this visual studio code with this folder the folder name is selenium python so what i have to do we have to select visual studio code first then after that we have to click file and then we have to choose open and once we click open then this type of window will come and this folder is located under few steps folder and over there there is a folder it's called selenium python once you select that uh, then you have to click open and it will open the folder using the visual studio code and it will map of that folder and sometimes you will get this type of uh, warning like visual studio code app would like to access files on your document or folder you have to click ok button to allow it and sometimes it might ask you to put your password then just put the computer uh, that means your mac computer password then everything will be okay so in this way you can create your first folder for your selenium python project and then after that you can open that using uh, the visual studio code that means it is now pointing that folder now we need to install selenium in this folder okay i will not install selenium uh, in global mode i will only install in this project because for some other case i might need other things that's why i am not interested to install selenium globally okay so at first there is a welcome screen i'm going to close this thing because we don't need but if you want to read you can also read there is some couple of things over there but i'm going to ignore that then after that we have to open the terminal because we need to install selenium and we will install selenium with on virtual environment so we also need to create the virtual environment so i'm going to click terminal and then click next new terminal and then the terminal window will be opened over there okay and now what we have to do we have to create a virtual environment first okay to create the virtual environment we have to type uh, some command right so in this tutorial we will use pip environment so what we have to do we have to type uh, pip then install then pip environment env so this is the command uh, to create the virtual environment at first we need to install pip environment once you uh, install pip environment then uh, we can do, go for the next step so by typing this we can actually install pip environment and then hit it and key uh, once you hit return key then you will find this type of thing okay that means it is installed successfully okay i'm going to uh, maximize this window so it will be easier to see what it is doing okay so this is the terminal we run that command pip environment uh, sorry pip environment install uh, in pip environment we wrote uh, this line and then it installed that okay so after that what we have to do we have to switch that environment to switch that environment we have to type the command pip env then shell so pip environment shell because we are going to open the virtual environment right so if we type pip environment then shell then it will jump to that virtual environment and after typing that hit return key again 
and then you will see that it is going to uh, switch that environment now see here the com prompt is completely changed right compared to previous okay so right now we are in virtual environment and now we are ready to use this virtual environment we are completely ready by those two lines of command okay so after that what we have to do we have to install selenium so to install selenium we have to type the command pip environment then install then selenium some of you are wondering why i am using pip environment uh, the cool answer is we are using on virtual environment which we installed already right very few moments before right so as the uh, virtual environment is pip environment that's why here every time whenever we are trying to install something then we have to write pip environment instead of pip generally to install anything in python environment we write the command pip install something right but we are using the virtual environment say right this is a virtual environment and uh, it is pip environment so any command which we wrote with uh, pip dot those command will be written by pip environment so to install selenium we have to type this command only pip environment install selenium and once you type that just hit return key and then wait for a few seconds it will start installing selenium very soon and you will get this type of information and once it is installed successfully then it will give you successful message and this is the complete uh, progress bar that means 100 percent is complete and you will get this success that means uh, your environment is ready to install uh, to use selenium okay so once you complete the installation of selenium in your uh, folder that means the project folder selenium python this is the, this was the project folder okay you will find there are two things one is pip file okay and it will show you this type of thing i'm going to uh, delete this thing because we don't need it this terminal anymore so i'm going to close delete button i, I click there and then uh, let's come to this two file so previously we didn't have any folder right so when you install pip environment and selenium all together then you will find it will create this type of thing okay so basically this pip file and lock file these are created when you already created the pip environment and after installation of selenium it will write this line okay so basically this pip file uh, keeps track all the install module right now it installs selenium and right now it installs selenium instead that means the current version of selenium okay and right now uh, here you can also see that the version of python it is using uh, 3.8 it is also written over there okay so in this way you can easily uh, install selenium on your visual studio code folder uh, that means we created this folder and then after that we install with uh, pip environment that is the virtual environment and after that we install selenium now we are ready to use selenium in our project so this is just the basic thing uh, for any python uh, selenium project you just need to create and in this video i used only visual studio code and pip environment okay but if you want to use some other software like uh, software means some other id like pycharm you can also use that but i am not going to show you details this for uh, those things and if you want to use some other operating system like windows i have some other video just go to the playlist and you can search over there and you can see the particular video so uh, that's all for this module this was just the installation of selenium in your folder to make your computer ready that you can write some script using selenium and python all together so hopefully by watching this video you are pretty clear how to create a folder and environment for your selenium python project and for after that you can install selenium over there so we are now ready and in the next tutorial we will start creating our own script so thank you for watching the video and if you like this video please hit the like button and comment please and also if you are new to our channel or still you didn't subscribe please subscribe to our channel thank you for watching see you on the next video